Hello everybody, I have broken my silence. I want to come on here today and do a review. I'll get into more about why I didn't make any videos in a, in a long time at the end of this video. And um, anyways, uh, let's get on to the review. What I'm going to be reviewing today is a very, you know, is a release from a very small band. They're still semi-independent on the Red Scare label, a pop punk band called Direct Hit. Um, their second album, Brainless God, um, and this is the best album of 2013, or one of them. It's definitely the second best or the best. Um, 2013 to me, in punk music was a very sort of it was kind of dry there were some good releases a handful of them but nothing really stuck out as amazing and classic except for you know this and the Dan Vapid album there don't get me wrong it's not a, there are some really good releases from that year on the Red Scare label too you know the rest of the ones from the Red Scare label they were pretty good but otherwise you know, there was nothing really, I don't know, it was just kind of, to me, a little bit, you know, it was the year of the reissues, to me. Um, anyways, enough about that, but this album, like I said, it's pop punk, it's, uh, it's along the lines of a lot of, you know, the, the fat, Red Scare crossover type of music, you know, Teenage Bottle Rocket, um, Masked Intruder, and the copyrights, it fits right in there with those type of bands. They're nice and poppy and, you know, catchy, but they're still not, you know, like, I don't know, trying to rehash some 2002 crap that populated MTV. You know, basically, these are the type of bands that you go to see in you know a small place in your town and that you get wowed by how great they are but you probably weren't really expecting that based on you know the small venues and whatnot um, definitely is worth getting this tracking this down on Red Scare's site you know, redscare.storeenvy.com. Yes, I'm giving them a cheap pop here because uh, they're one of the best labels today for someone like me. I like punk music, but I still like it sort of raw and, you know, fresh a little bit. I mean, I know a lot of places like Epitaph, you know, they get a bit, they're take the bands that signed to Epitaph, you know, their stuff, I don't know, some, I feel like it doesn't hit as hard as the older stuff that from said bands that signed to them any of them I could see this band definitely signing to Fat Records within the next you know couple of years they, they totally seem like you know this album was a huge hit when it came out amongst a lot of uh, I don't know I am follow a lot of them on like a lot of punk things on my Facebook and this was a huge hit um, punk news all those under other underground places um, huge hit with me too At first I mean I didn't care. I listened to it and it just you know it was one of those albums that like you know the best kind you listen to it at first and it's like just sounds like a bunch of noise but then when you listen to it like two or three more times it just keeps growing and growing and growing better and better. Um, I really wish I would have seen this this band live in June this year, but circumstances came up that prohibited me. I'm hoping they would come around again to Cleveland, Ohio. Uh, and um, hmm, what else can I say about this? Ah, best songs on the album. Um, I like... Uh, let me see. I like basically. I think that's this is super strong in the first half, and you no, know, some of the songs like you know maybe 
maybe songs like, I don't know. I can't pick a bad song in this album. They all, they all sound good to me. It's like, you know, trying to, like, I don't know. I can't pick a lesser song. It's one of those stick on, listen to all the way through. I don't know how this review is coming out. It just sounds like me just rambling. Um, I'll just say, White Robes is a great song. So is Buried Alive and the World is Ending. No one cares. I like those ones a lot. <clears throat> Anyways, I look forward to a new release from this band sometime. I'm hoping soon. Uh, hope to see them live around the North East Ohio region soon. Um, what else can I say? Um, definitely a 5 out of 5 stars. Um, I hear there's a vinyl version out there now. Um, I don't know if I'll seek it out, but it would be worth it. My vinyl player is still buried in a storage unit, so I'm sorry, I'm trying to think of things to say more. But I think I should probably just cut it here, saying you probably won't be able to find, saying something like you won't be able to find this in the stores or anything, um, at least around me or any of the popular stores. Maybe an underground store or a used record store. I don't know who traded in used. I mean, it's it's worth keeping if you go out and buy it. <clears throat> um. I would definitely buy it instead of pirate it to support the band. Uh, anyways, I've been rambling too much. I'll just explain, you know, I've been really busy with school and everything, so I have not been able to review or do move the videos a lot. So I'm hoping that I can get back into reviewing cool stuff like this. Um, anyways, this video is about this album, so pick it up. It's awesome, you know, if you like pop punk, if you like Fat Wreck, Red Scare, um, you know, sort of apocalyptic lyrics, that's, you know, it's fun, it's a concept album, it's pretty, pretty good, pretty unique. Um, anyways, five out of five. Bye.